Good afternoon and welcome to the second instalment of the Bailey Group update on COVID-19. Um, I'm pleased to say that last time on our very first instalment we had a thousand views. So keep looking at those videos and, and keep giving us the great feedback that you are. Thank you for that. So in this one, in this uh, question and answer session, we are going to be looking at the different types of, of help the government are giving to employers, employees, the self-employed, and a little bit on landlords as well. So let's start with the um, coronavirus job replacement scheme. And I've had some questions in from our clients. So let's look at the question, shall we? So the first question is from Charlie in Scotland. And Charlie asks, I'm employed and have a self-employed business. If I'm furloughed from my employment, can I still do my self-employed work? Well, the answer, Charlie, is yes, you can do. And the, uh, the furlough only, only applies to your employed work, not to your self-employed work. But listen on for, le for later on about self-employed tips because we've, I've got some of those coming up in, uh, towards the end of this video. My next question is from David in Hartlepool. David says, I pay my staff weekly. Can I change this to monthly during the furlough period? because I can't afford to pay them every week? Well, the answer is yes, you can, as long as you give them notice that's stipulated in your contracts of employment. Clearly, if you can, uh, if you can reduce your outgoings until the government starts paying you the grants, then that's a lot better for the business and for you personally. You may have to talk to your staff beforehand to, to advise them what's happening, which clearly is good practice. Nisha in London has, has emailed in asking, um, my staff have told me that they cannot work if they're furloughed. Is, furloughed. is this correct? Well, Nisha, it isn't really correct, no. Yes, under the guidelines, the staff cannot work for you, but that work is defined as revenue-generating work. So they can still work for you, and they can still do administrative work or training, which is really important. So it's a time to catch up on training whilst we're doing this. And the final piece on the uh, job replacement scheme is from Pete in Norfolk, who's asked, how long is the furlough period? Well, every, every three weeks, sorry, the furlough period is a maximum of three weeks. And the scheme is supposed to last for three months, but the Chancellor could increase that time after uh, the three month period, depending on whether the scheme has been successful and whether the crisis is still ongoing. So there's some questions we've had about the job replacement scheme. Look at our emails as well, because they, they are full of information and links to the revenue website. So the next piece we're going to look at is self-employed um, people and what the government has done for self-employed people. So the first question is from Malcolm in Horsham. And Malcolm says, I'm in a property hybrid structure. Do I qualify for the self-employed grant? Uh, thanks, Malcolm. Really good question. Um, um, as you know, Bailey Group and Less Tax for Landlords are, um, are heavily into the property world and have lots of property clients. So the first question is, do you uh, qualify for self-employed grant, grant, Malcolm? Well, yes, we, you probably do, but we are confirming that with HMRC at the moment. Um, the good news is that because you are self-employed, you will get a deferment on your July tax payment, which means that you won't have to pay your tax in July. You'll just pay it in January 2021. But going back to Charlie's question about his self-employment and his employment, you need to be careful. If your self-employment is, is less than 50% of your total income, then you won't qualify for this grant. So you just need to be careful that your self-employment is the majority of your income. The next question is from Tony in Sussex. And Tony says, I've just started self-employment in 2019, 20. So in other words, the tax year that we're in now, do I qualify? Well, the answer, Tony, is yes, you will, but HMRC will have to treat you as a special case for people who've just started self-employment. So we need to, they would need to look at your year-to-date income and, and assess it on that. So the good idea is to give us your information. Let's talk it through with the revenue on your behalf. And the final question on uh, the self-employment piece is from Benny in Middlesbrough, and he asks, how long is it until I'm going to get some money? A question we're asked all the time. How long is it going to take until we get paid off the, off the, the government because lots of people's income have, have dry, has dr dried up? So the answer to that question is, at the moment, HMRC are saying mid 
to late June for self-employment money. For employed uh, for employees who are, who are claiming under the job replacement scheme, they're looking at, at the end of April. It may even be slipping now into the first week of May. We just don't know at the moment. It's a massive task HMRC I've take, taken on, so we just need to be um, aware of that, that it's probably going to take a bit longer than they say. Um, the next topic that we're going to talk about is rates relief and the and the, the claim for the small business rates. This question is from Elsa in, ha in, in Wynyard, and Elsa says, how can I claim for this? I've heard people have already received it. Well, Elsa, you're quite right. We at the Bailey Group have already claimed for some of our offices, and we have already received our £10,000 off the government. All we did, went onto the local authority site, filled in the form, put our rates reference in, sent, <coughs> excuse me, sent the form off, and the, the money was in our bank account within two days. Really quick, really straightforward and simple. So make sure you fill those forms in if you get small business rates relief. The final piece today is about the bank loan scheme, the coronavirus bank uh, business interruption scheme. And Paddy in Sedgefield has said, how, do, how does he access this, this funds to keep his business going? Well, it's a very straightforward scheme. You can get a form off your bank, fill the form in, and then send it off to the bank. However, the form is, whilst it's simple, it needs quite a bit of information. So it needs things like a cash flow forecast. It needs things like um, an assets and liability statement. And you'll be eligible for 25% of your turnover in your 2019 accounts, or twice your annual wage bill, depending which is the largest amount. Now, the banks ask various questions when the form is filled in. I actually have a form here from one of the banks, and here are some of the questions that you'll be, need to be prepared to answer. So, what was the performance of your business prior to the virus? Can we see 12 months of business performance numbers before the virus? What's the impact of the virus been on your business? Can we have some forecasts for the next 12 months? And what about other areas of government funding that you have um, uh, explored? And finally, tell us what's going to happen after the virus crisis has finished. So you need to go through the whole process of before, during and after. Obviously, we at Bailey Group can help you with, with, those, with those questions. And we already, have, we already have clients where we have filled in the forms and sent the application off to the various banks. The final query today is, a, is, about, um, is from Ian in Leeds. And Ian says, my MOT is due on my car, but I'm not allowed to drive it to the garage. What can I do? Well, thankfully, the government have thought about this as well. And they've extended an automatic extension to all MOTs for six months. So you shouldn't need to worry, Ian. We'll, you'll be able to take your car to your local garage after the six months is over. So there's a few questions and answers that we've had this, this week. Obviously, next week, we'll be uh, updating again, updating all the way through the week with our client emails. If you haven't got any, uh, got our emails, please email the, the business at info at baileygroup.co.uk. And if you want personal um, questions and answers, then please email alex.forster at baileygroup.co.uk and she will pass them on to the relevant manager. Um, please keep safe, keep watching. Let's go over a thousand views for this one. Thanks very much.